that's I became acquainted with Tracy's program about five years ago when somebody suggested we give it a try and we've actually used it on uh, two separate occasions uh, already and then we've sponsored her on three separate occasions at the Great Lakes Bay Business Expo. It was uh, yeah, a couple, couple of years ago and we brought the whole team together for the first time and um, you know we just had this tremendous, tremendous experience. There's no fooling an animal because your body's conveying something. So it, it just intrigued me enough to use, um, to use horses in that way. I mean, it was unbelievable the way people open up with those horses. Um, it was, you saw a side of people that you just don't see normally. And then Tracy, has the skill to draw, to observe what, they, what she sees, then draw that out in a, in a session uh, at her location. Everybody learns differently. Everybody works differently. And everybody responds differently to motivation and stimulus. And it's like you have to have a bag of tricks as a manager and a leader. And that this one doesn't work, it's like a teacher. Doesn't work with this person, try something else. And that's the way it was with the horses. Because you don't know that much about people or, or the horses until you try something. What I'm hoping will happen today is that there'll be a recentering, and you know, just to kind of come back and uh, let the experience be a grounding experience. And then just kind of remember that you always, always have something to learn and that these horses will always step up and teach it to you. Horses don't lie. They, in, in you have to participate or, you know, you're, you're not going to get any results. Well, if the objective was to get the horses to go through every one of those obstacles, that didn't happen. They didn't go through any of them. But the learning, I mean, I felt like laughing because this is so difficult of uh, uh, us setting out something, <laughs> some objective that's like, you know, huge in size, <laughs> and then going, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? You know, getting the sense of a given horse um, is like getting the sense of a given person. You know, sometimes people who, aren't, who appear not to be paying attention are deeply paying attention. Some people, sometimes people who are looking right at you are somewhere else. So, it, you know, it's, it was a little bit of that. Um, so it was really more about, it worked when I was more skillful because the horses didn't have an agenda. They weren't trying to do anything. It was my agenda, and when they picked up on it, it worked. When dealing with people, people can adapt their behaviors to accommodate others, and in, in leadership training, that's, that's what you're trying to do, to adapt your behaviors to achieve an end result. Um, and, you know, with horses, it was really easy to see that they aren't going to change what they do and how they act. Um, you, know, you have to change what you're doing in order to get what you want from the horse. If we take this back to, you know, our companies and our homes and our lives, um, if we treat people like they're sensitive creatures like horses and give them the same kind of um, consideration, you know, we, we will probably get different results from the people that surround us. Look at the horses right now where they are and they were all as far away from us as they possibly could get with their backs turned to us, with their, their, their noses away from us. And, and you pointed that out. 
And once she realized that, she started talking differently. She started opening up and her, her energy changed. Everybody's energy changed. We all even kind of leaned in a little bit closer. And then pretty soon the horses were all there. And that one horse, I think it was Diva, <laughs> walked right in the middle of us all and put her nose right down in one of the other participants' lap. And, and, and it was just, it was a perfect reflection of what this work can do. Uh, what I found anyways in the exercises is that we project what we need to and they're the perfect palette to project it on because we get the sense of what it's like in the environment from them. We all came together as a, a big group and a team. There was actually team building out there without anybody really talking about team building. I learned that I really should have had the rest of the group more engaged in getting Tigger through the course. Um, and. I, I may be doing that in the workplace too, just something, an eye-opening experience, um, something to be more self-aware of. It kind of takes us enough out of our element that we can have conversations perhaps that we wouldn't have. And I think that, um, again, it gives us a language to reference back to about what, um, what we perceive. Michigan Works Association has recently approved Tracy and her organization as an approved vendor for the state of Michigan. So all the Michigan Works agencies in the state, and there are 26 of them, are now capable of, uh, of going to Tracy and using her services. And that doesn't happen often. I mean, they have to think quite highly of an organization to sponsor an organization among the whole state of the, uh, the whole the complete state, all the agencies within the state. So I think that's quite an honor.